me. I ain't hearing this. Please don't walk away, Kat. You're a murderer. I didn't do it. You smashed her over the edge. You told me. Kat, please. Oh, please. Oh. I need you to understand what happened, Kat. Did you... Did you... Did you, like... <clears throat> actually... Chuck him in the hole? Did you, did you hold... Um... Did you hold his arm? Oh, I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah. Yeah, it does matter. I... I need to see it in my head. I, I need... What? <laughs> Don't you dare shake your head at me, Kat. I'm your daughter. Say it. I don't know who you are. You're my mum. Tell me it's all right. Love me. I feel sick looking at you. <sighs> well, screw you, then. I had his leg, all right? And his shoe fell off as we dragged him through the Vic. Happy now, pretty little picture for you! So, she gone then, Zoe? I don't know. Well, you are family, you should know. Well, the last we know, her and Kat were having a Barney in the air, so now they've both disappeared. Right. You wouldn't want to hear it, but you just kept pushing and pushing it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Just listen. Chrissy killed him. Yeah, you hit him. He was smashing her head against the fruit machine. Well, there was three of you. You could have drained him. He was out of control. I just grabbed something Stop and got this. Go I didn't kill him. When I left the room, Dem came round and Chrissy finished him off. And then she lied to me and made out that I did it. <laughs> this is really twisted. I only found out the truth last week. Then go to the She'll be all right. Me and Sam were accessories. Chrissy will say we were all in it together. That's what she's like. She controlled the whole thing. Getting in there, showering, clearing up. Are oh, you a sheep? I was in shock. You just go along with it. Dump his body and carry on. No. And your business. Work on the stall, drinking in the pub while his body's fine. And what? That's what I don't understand. How can you slept? I haven't slept. I couldn't talk to no one. Chrissy was my only friend. And the whole time the conniving cow was lying to me. I ain't innocent, but she has already put me through a sentence, and I ain't gonna let her ruin my life any longer. Ooh, <laughs> you go, girl. Don't let a murder ruin your holiday. And you got any sympathy, Cat? He used me, they both did. To slash his tires, mother. I'll break through his He went beyond that, you weren't here, you didn't see. I would take what they both did to me a thousand times over just to see his smug face back behind that bar. But you can't change what's done, Kat. You've just got to live with it. I'm going to the police. Kat! I can't read you anymore, sir. I don't even know if you're putting this on. Look at me! I'm a wreck! Every time you do this to me, you drag it out of me and you leave me on the floor. I was scared, Kat. I was mother. You weren't here, no one was. <laughs> As leaning tower of Pisa. You're like lightning on that thing. No, it was Arthur who told me what to do after he was on that cat and mouse game. He said you've got to keep your finger low. Oh, cat and mouse. Mm. You're still losing, though. <laughs> I can't be. What's the score? 17 12 to me. Yeah. You sure you're adding that up right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Is there any more sherry in that bottle? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. If she started that with me, I'd soon knock a smile onto the other side of her face. Oh, I don't know. I reckon she could have you, Paul. Oh, in her dreams. <laughs> Why does she have to be so mean? There's no need to say all those nasty things. <laughs> Max, it's me. Mind you asking your phone? Listen, me and Sharon are coming to Brighton tonight at 8, so you better be ready for us. But he's definitely said it's OK, this mate of yours. Oh, I can't get hold of him. He's probably up to no good, but it'll be fine. But you can't go down there if you've got nowhere to stay. Well, it doesn't bother us. We'll just sleep under the pier. Uh, you really don't want to see me after night under the pier, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I'll put off the packing until I hear from him. I'm going for a takeout. Anyone want anything? Well, I was going to start the dinner in half hour. Oh, what you got? Quiche. Pizza, Sharon? Uh, no, I'll have some of Pauline's quiche. 
So you're definitely off then? It looks like it, yeah. Right, well, that's it. Game abandoned. We'll call it a draw. Go and get the dinner ready. Okay. Right then. But if we're not going to tell the police, what are we going to do? I don't know. I just want to go. Go then. Not until you. What? I know what we'll do. We'll get Chrissy to turn herself in. No, if she knows you. I'll make sure she leaves you and Sam out of She here. won't know. I'll make her. You watch me. And if she starts, I'll snap her neck and bury her next to her beloved. Well, smashing Chrissy up ain't gonna help. I just need you to understand. I just wanna go, but if you don't give me something. Murder. And I told you what happened. You can't just bury someone and forget about it. You gotta do something. The truth's gotta come out. And you're the one to do that, are you? Just because you know something, Kat, don't mean it has to come out. What's that supposed to mean? You iron up my spicy beef, Pauline. I've got 12 inches here if you want to take a bite. Stop winding her up. She's asking for it. Right, Dennis. In this house, we sit up at the table to eat. Hey? You've got hands, Dennis. Not trotters. We're not pigs. There's pizza. Everyone eats pizza with their hands. Well, I don't. Now, you can either sit at the table to eat it or take it out to the yard. It's your choice. How about I just stay here and ignore oh, Dennis, you? Dennis, just sit at the table, please. <sighs> it's nice, dirty. Oh, would you two give it a rest, please? It's her. It's him. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going out. And I want you two to have sorted it out by the time I get back, all right? Now, see what you've done. You've upset her. Me? Yes, you. We were quite happy sitting here slagging off Van Robinson until you came bursting it. Elbows! Nothing ever changes between me and you, does it? Makes me wonder why you bother telling me what you did sometimes. You saying that for? I'm asking, what was the point of knowing? What changed? Everything! How come I still have to fight to get you on my side? How come we're still arguing like we did ten years ago? That's just the way we are. You were my sister then. You're my mum now. Shouldn't things have changed a tiny little bit? What do you want, so? Trips to the zoo and ice cream? Oh, is she all over, innit? Turn it on someone else because you don't want to talk about the real issues. What would that be then? Me and you. Oh, really? I thought he was talking about the stiff in the Vic. All oh, right, let's forget it then. His face facts ain't really worked, is it? Right. You think bringing this up is going to make me forgive you? All I know is you can drag things out of me, make me tell you things. I don't want you to know, but I can't do the same. You're out of order. <laughs> bringing that up and Dan's death in the same breath. Why not? They're the two things I wish never happened on you the You don't mean that. You take that back. All we are is sisters. No, we're not. 18 years I had people telling me that. I didn't accept it then, and I'm not accepting it now. You're my daughter. She finally admits it. Don't you ever wonder? If you had told me sooner, we might have got somewhere. We have got somewhere. Not from where I'm standing. I told you years ago. When? You first day at school. You wouldn't remember it. I wanted to take you, so... I got up about half six in the morning and I was getting you ready. And you said, what's going on? Where's Mum? And that's when I told you. I said, she's here, darling. I'm your mum. You just laughed and held your arms out for Dad, who was standing in the doorway. Then Mum dragged me in the kitchen and said I shouldn't make jokes. <laughs> jokes? I was crying. So what do you want me to do now? I feel sorry for you. Why are you being like this? To show you what it feels like not to have the most important person in the world on your side. So what's the point? You've got a big mouth, Cat. that's my point. You want to know everything, but when you do, you can't handle it. You drag this out of me and you turn your back. You tell me you're my mother and you can't handle that either. That's not true. You tried to kill yourself. You ran away without a word. You said you wish you'd aborted me. 
You're not exactly the perfect role model daughter yourself. I, I shouldn't have to be. Proper mums listen to their daughters. They love them no matter what. Not you. You'll grasp me up. You'll batter Chrissy, but you won't even give me a hug. You went it all on a plate, didn't you? You're involved in a murder and you expect me to forgive you like that? I am asking for a lot less. All I want is for you to say that you understand. Like I understood about Andy and Anthony and all the other dirty, stupid things you've done. I think Mirza tops all of it. See? You ain't been listening to a word I've been saying. You want to walk away from something you've done and I won't let you. That's the problem. So you just turn it around. I don't want you to listen. It's always about you, innit? The Cat Slater Show. You ain't got an ounce of compassion. You're a useless, selfish mum. And I wish I never knew. Oh, twice in one day, listen. I'm sorry, I'll go. No. Zoe's going. See you then. You're right, Kat. 